Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hey guys, it's your Parniff, your Parniff on the Paul Pruder channel. Guys, I want to do an update for a paid review I did yesterday. That was 20 SE75. This was a review I did for Bri BK, BK, BK. And I gotta tell you, man, I gotta tell you, I'm just feeling a little bit down. I'm feeling down. Uh, BK asked me to review his collection and you know I was kind of rude to him and I gotta tell you man I don't want to be rude don't want to be abusing and you know I don't want to be nasty but uh, I gotta tell you man he's got some really cool Rolex he's got some really cool Rolex and I've been a little bit down because I'm trying desperately to get a steel sports Rolex myself and I can't I can't you know I'm in Brisbane I'm trying to sell my paddock Philip I got two five one two sevens I'm trying to sell one I got it with Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co and nothing selling quick because I want to buy a steel sports Rolex for Christmas all I want for Christmas is a Steel Sports Rolex. And I got to tell you, I got some good friends. I got a guy down in, I got, a, I got a Submariner date that I may be able to get hold of. And I got to tell you, I did this review for BK. I'm having a little bit of personal problems. Uh, you know, revenue's down, COVID, COVID, COVID. Uh, and you know things aren't doing so well I'm, I'm, I want to sell one of my paddocks and I want to get a steel sports and I can't get nothing I went into Hourglass in Brisbane they took my details put me on the list and it's not happening so I just want to say BK I'm sorry I was jealous I was really jealous that you got all the cool stuff man you got a great collection I'm jealous and I thought you'd be a bit of an asshole, you're in New York, smart ass young guy, but you came on the Archie Luxury corporate live stream. And you're a nice little guy, you're a nice guy, and I just want to say, man, no hard feelings. You got some great pieces, you got a great collection. Um, I'm just going to go through your collection there. I, 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 I got to say, firstly, you got the Milgauss, the GV. That's a beautiful watch. You know, I could have that as a one and done, it's so good. I uh, Do I prefer the non-GV or the GV? Hey man, I'd love any Milgauss. Any Milgauss is cool. But um, yeah, it's. I think the green tinge to it is, is uh, hey, go with the flow, baby. Then you got the Pepsi. The Pepsi is my super grail steel sports Rolex. At a steel sports Rolex, I do love the Panda. That's the daytime. Toner Panda, but I gotta tell you the truth, man. If someone said, Hey Arch, we love you, you're a great guy, you can have anyone you want, it'd be a Pepsi or a Panda, I'd love to walk out with the Pepsi. You know, I just love it. It's so cool. I love it on the, the, the Jubilee bracelet. I love the the just the whole look of it. I think it's one of the best maxi case. Rolexes out there so I got to say man that is that is a, a cool very cool piece then you got the green green dial Daytona man that's a super grail I mean green dial man winner winner chicken dinner winner winner chicken dinner that's a knockout piece that's just gorgeous absolutely beautiful a gold Daytona wow 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 it's amazing. It's a beautiful piece. So I got to be honest with you. That's gorgeous. Uh, then, then you got the two-tone bluesy. You got the. Uh, that's a lovely watch. You know, that's a dream watch. 
I had the pre-ceramic and I think the ceramic version is better. It's got the newer revised clasp. It's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then you've got a no dates up just to go with it as, you know, just to be a little bit more down key. And that's beautiful. I sort of said the, the Nomos was garbage. Look, I'm not a big Nomos fan. I kind of think it's for people want to be Lange people. They think they're cool. It's kind of it's kind of not really my cup of tea. Um, you told me your wife bought it for you. Jesus, you bring out the violins for me. Bring out the violins and give me the real hard degree. Look, I, I, I don't hate. Well, I, I, I don't I don't like it, but I don't hate it. You know what I mean? The Nomos. You got the special wimpy limited edition version okay man i get it the wife gave it to you it's not a bad piece you're a lucky man lucky guy um yeah i i get it i get it okay that's okay man you can enjoy it and love it and keep it and hey i i okay that's cool you like it that's okay so i gotta say man what would i like you to do um, look, as I said yesterday, man, I, I hope you get something in. I want you to get some paddocks that don't sell, that aren't the super, super hot ones, you know? I think we've got to have, you know, the, the true enthusiast, um, they they really go against the herd, you know? They, they get what they like. And I'd love to see you get a paddock, Philippe, well time, 5130. I'd love to see you get a 5146 annual calendar, and I'd love to see you get a Calatrava. I think three Pateks, and that's, that's done and dusted. It's an amazing collection. I'd stay away from vintage. There's a lot of sharks in New York. Uh, lot of, vintage is hard, man. Vintage is so, so hard. Uh, I just stay away from vintage. Um, I like these modern pieces you've got. It's an amazing collection. This is a incredible collection. You know, this is amazing. It's like having a three million, four million dollar apartment on the Upper East Side. It's just wow. You know, um, I, I think it's beautiful. You've got a beautiful collection. I love it. I love it, man. And I'm sorry, I was a bit jealous. You know, things haven't really gone so well for me. I took a few bets, you know, I, I sold up Rolex, put it into Paddock, I was hoping to, you know, but the, the, we've had COVID, the dress watch market, I'm, I'm stuck in Brisbane, you know, there's no culture here, you know, a brand new ute is considered highbrow, you know, Paddock is just, it's just a hard thing for my community to be in. So, I, I'm just, I was just a bit shitty. The world hasn't been that good to me. I got problems with my adult children. I got problems all over the place. So I had a bit of a think about it. No, I, I was wrong. I was a bit whingy, a bit nasty. It's a great, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I'd cut off, uh, I'd cut off two fingers, two fingers. You can take two fingers for that color it's an amazing collection look at that it's a uh, it's gorgeous i love it all i love it all i mean seriously you got you got a the the, the kick ass daytona you got beautiful i love the bluesy sub and you got a steel one and you got the pepsi man those those four watches are gorgeous and then as a just a simple you know you got the milgaus it's all gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous so yeah, I was a bit jealous. I get jealous. The pontiff gets jealous. I can't get a Rolex for love nor money. I can't get a Rolex for love or money. The, I went to Hourglass. They said, oh, yeah, put you on the list, man. Don't call us. We'll call you. Um, so I'm just feeling a bit down, you know, feeling a bit down. So uh, it's an amazing collection. Who doesn't love that stuff, man? I... Uh, when that Pepsi was was winking at me, man, I, I, I'd love a Pepsi. Actually, I've got a, a date sub coming. I hope it comes. I, I want it badly, man. 
I really want it bad. I want it badly. I want to wear it. I want to. I want to be. You know. I want to be cool again. Have a Rolex. And yeah, I'd love to do that. But you know, I got to get rid of my paddock. I want that to sell. I wish that bloody thing would sell. I'd like to get some steel sports. I do. I do. I miss them. I miss them so much. So I got to say, BK. You got a great collection. You're a nice guy. You came on my channel. I'm sorry. I was a little bit grumpy yesterday. Um, service delivery with the missus hasn't been great lately. You know, just just a few personal issues. So, but I want to say, man, it's a good collection. So I love your box as well. That box looks amazing. It's an amazing looking box. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. It's it's really cool. It's very cool. So, um, yeah, well done. Well done, man. It's good to see see you doing well. So, no hard feelings. It's a beautiful collection. Uh, I'd like to see you go paddock. Go paddock. Go to, go to some... Don't go Aquanaut Nautilus. Well, you could do that as well. But I'd go 5130 World Time, 5146 Annual Calendar, and a 5225... 5227... 5227 Calatrava. I reckon you'd be done and dusted, man. Done and dusted. It's good to see you doing well, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry for being a bit whingy. Sorry for being a whiner. I'm sorry, man. I love you, BK, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches david sw david sw david sw go to david sw.com he is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the united states of america david sw david sw david sw hey guys archie luxury who do i recommend for watches in brisbane and sydney Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. In Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.